Hello, I'm Matthew McGoldrick and I'm an actor in training at Rose Bruford College in Sidcup. Uh, Rose Bruford is one of the leading drama schools in the country uh, where we are trained in acting, voice, movement, dance, singing, combat and various other forms of performance and expression. Um, my role as a student at drama school is essentially to be a sponge and soak up whatever wisdom my tutors impart from their years of experience uh, in the industry. Um, that's not to say I will use everything I'm taught in my own practice, but it does give me a wide array of choices when developing my own process. So I started acting when I was about 10 years old, um, doing musicals uh, and plays at school, uh, as well as a couple feature films um, outside of school, which was I was very lucky to be a part of that. Um, I kept up the musicals and plays pretty much every year. Um, I had starring roles in The Lion King, uh, Grease and Oliver. Um, also during this time, I took IGCSE Drama and IB Theatre Studies, uh, in which we studied various theatre practices from around the world. Um, after I graduated, I did a foundation in acting at Regents University in London. Um, since I was moving to England for the first time in my life uh, from Thailand, I found it a great way to settle in and begin applying for drama schools. Um, I was then accepted onto the Certificate of Higher Education in Theatre Arts at East 15. Um, this gave me a, a really great idea of what it was what it was like to be in a drama school setting, um, with classes pretty much geared toward um, audition technique, um, as well as core skills of acting. Um, after finishing that course, I began working as a freelance actor in London. Um, I was fortunate enough to get or be involved in uh, five or six short films, mainly by um, students and uh, recent graduates. Um, oh, and I, I was in one commercial as well. <laughs> um, while I was continuing with my drama school auditions, um, so yeah, getting out there and actually doing work was really re rewarding, even if it was like mostly student films. Um, I felt like for the first time I was a proper actor, like getting um, just out there, finding my own work um, and starting like the hard graft of it all. Um, and then sort of after three years of trying, I, I was finally accepted onto the BA acting course at Rose Bruford, and I am very happy to be here. <laughs> Um, there isn't really a typical day, as it were. Um, we're always engaged in something new, uh, no matter what class we're doing. Um, but in a general sense, we're either in a skills block or a project block. Um, skills blocks are usually made up of the core skills I mentioned earlier, and project blocks are where we are tackling a play or, or scene studies uh, with the aim of a production or showing at the end. Um, for skills blocks, uh, the year group is split into a few companies that do all the classes together. And for project blocks, um, although we do have a company as well, we're not often all called in at the same time. So like, like today, for example, um, our rehearsal time is from three till nine, but I'm only called in for five till seven. Um, as for what actually goes on in the rooms, uh, magic. I tell this story a lot, um, but it is one of my favourites. Um, I was playing Fagin in Oliver at my school, and on one performance night, I was about halfway through one of my solo songs when there was a power cut. So I'm there on stage in almost complete darkness, all alone in front of about 400 people. I don't quite remember how it happened, but um, despite all of the obvious terror of the show potentially being ruined, um, I heard my music director still playing the flute. Um, since the piano and the drums were both electric, uh, they'd, they'd been shut off, and that was so the flute was, was the only thing that I had left as accompaniment. So somehow I, I hadn't stopped either. Um, very subconscious, no, like. <laughs> um, through no um, fault of my own. Um, uh, and then the backup generators kicked in and, and so the spot started working, but everything else was still off, so we still had no drums and no piano. 
Um, and yeah, I, I I actually managed to get to the end of the song. Um, and the the, the, the elation I, I felt running off of stage um, when I finished was, was unlike anything I, I felt before. Um, and the show was able to continue relatively as normal after that. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy. It, it was just me on stage, actually. Um, if it had happened during like a, a big dance number or something, then it, uh, I'm not sure we would have been able to continue, really. So the worst part of the job. Um, hmm. I, I think initially you'd think it would be like the criticism and rejection that you face constantly on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, I've actually come to appreciate that it's it's all for your benefit, really. And there is always something to learn from uh, notes from directors or, I don't know, later down the line when you get critiqued in whatever reviews come out about your show that you're doing. Um, I think the thing for me now is sort of the image that acting has as a profession. And I just wish it was taken more seriously because it's often regarded as, as like unnecessary to teach in schools and not something that will help you when you go for like real jobs or whatever. But I completely disagree. I, I think there are so many transferable skills within acting training uh, that are vital to everyday life. And acting itself is entirely valid. Um, seeing how much we TV and films we consume and, and if people go to the theatre then that as well. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't happen by itself. So best part of the job um every day is different and i think the most wonderful thing is seeing new things in the people around you um who you've spent a lot of time with um i love being surprised by people when they get up on stage and do something i've never seen them do before and, and really get a chance to show their talent and and why they love doing what they do because that's what it's all about so i think the main key skill um for this profession is is openness and willing to try and fail and and try again um you need to have a thick skin to face a lot of the criticism that actors do um but if you can learn from that and keep going then that's a great asset so my advice uh for someone who's mad enough to try and go into this is um perseverance is key uh, know that it's not all going to come together right away and it's going to take a lot of work. Um, but communicate, communicate with people who are also thinking of going into it, um, ask for their thoughts and opinions, um, research drama schools and their prospectuses, see what they're about, um, reach out to people who've had first-hand experience, um, with them and see what they think. Um, if you can get experience you know working in student films then yeah go for it great um they will quickly let you know uh what you like and what you don't in a working process um <laughs> listen to interviews uh with actors who you really admire um not really not really in a chat show environment but um like those breaking down careers videos on youtube um definitely worth a watch um anything to do with films and acting on youtube really um great for like bolstering your own ideas um, while opening you up to other ways of thinking as well. Um, directors of Chasky's Theatre, um, they basically run the whole first year actor training at Rose Bruford um, and they are currently doing online classes uh, at the moment. So if you can get involved in that, I would highly recommend it. That's basically the training you receive um as a first year at rose Bruford anyway so yeah if you can get that definitely um but above all keep watching films keep seeing theater when you can um when it all opens up again and keep invested in the thing that you love to do